Hinayana sects developed in India and had an existent independent from the form of Buddhism existing in Sri Lanka. 5. Abhidharma or Wonderful Dharmas 1. An overview and meanings of Abhidharma or Wonderful Dharmas Higher Dharma or the analytic doctrine of Buddhist canon or basket of the supreme teaching. Abhidharma is the third of the three divisions of the Buddhist canon. The study and investigation of the Buddha Dharma. Abhidharma was translated into Chinese as Great Dharma, or Incomparable Dharma. However, in many later Mahayana works, the term Abhidharma is always referring to Hinayana teachings. As a matter of fact, Abhidharma consists of books of psychological analysis and synthesis. Earliest Compilation of Buddhist Philosophy and Psychology Concerning psychological and spiritual phenomena contained in the discourses of the Buddha and his principal disciples are presented in a systematic order. Abhidharma with the prefix Abhi gives the sense of either further or about. Therefore, Abhidharma would mean the higher or special Dharma or the discourse of Dharma. While the Dharma is the general teaching of the Buddha, the Abhidharma is a special is a special metaphysical discourse brought forward by certain elders. Abhidharma contains highly abstract, philosophical elucidations of Buddhist doctrine. The Sastras which discuss Buddhist philosophy or metaphysics. Defined by Buddhaghosa as the law or truth. Dharma. Which Abhi goes beyond the law. This is the third of the three baskets. Tripitaka. Of the Buddhist canon, which contains scholastic treatises that discuss the central doctrines of Buddhism. It comprises the philosophical works. The first compilation is accredited to Mahakasyapa, disciple of Buddha, but the work is of a later period. The primary focus of Abhidharma Pitaka is on philosophy and psychology, usually known or called by the short name Abhidharma. Books of Psychological Analysis and Synthesis Earliest Compilation of Buddhist Philosophy and Psychology Concerning psychological and spiritual phenomena contained in the discourses of the Buddha and his principal disciples are presented in a systematic order. The Chinese version is in three sections. The Mahayana philosophy, the Hinayana philosophy, and the Sung and Yuan addenda. 960-1368 ad. The Abhidharma also reflects the views of Hinayana. The Abhidharma is the third division of the Buddhist canon of the Theravadan school. Although most of the early Buddhist schools probably developed their own Abhidharmas, only two complete versions are extant today. 1. The Sarvastivada Abhidharma, which exists in Chinese and Tibetan. And 2. The Theravada Abhidharma, which is preserved in Pali. Abhidharma is a Sanskrit term meaning high doctrine, referring to the philosophical and scholastic literature contained in the Abhidharma Pitakas of Indian Buddhist schools. The earliest Abhidharma material was composed around 300 B.C. According to the Buddhist legends, Abhidharma was first preached by the Buddha to his mother during a visit to her in the Tasita heaven after her death. According to most Eastern and Western philosophers, this is both a distillation, Sugan Loc, and elaboration, Sung Hyin Qky Luang, on the doctrines presented in the sutra literature. For the discourses reported in the sutras do not present a consistent philosophical system, and so the main aim of the Abhidharma writers was to codify and systematize their doctrines. Abhidharma texts generally rearrange and classify the terms and concepts of the sutras, focusing particularly epistemology, nantukluan, and psychology. Other important themes include cosmology and meditation theory. According to Eric Frau Wallner, earliest scholars brought together concepts from a wide range of texts, but often without a clear pattern of arrangement. Until several centuries a. d. The fully developed Abhidharma consists of voluminous scholastic texts in which doctrines and methods of practices are codified and systematized with great precision and in elaborate detail. As various scholastic traditions developed in Indian Buddhism at that time, different schools created their own Abhidharmas. Nowadays, the only complete Abhidharma that survives in an Indian language is found in the Pali canon of the Theravada school. 
but other Indian Abhidharmas exist in Chinese and Tibetan translations, as well as Sanskrit fragments. In addition to the Abhidharmas of the schools of Theravada Buddhism, there were also Abhidharma works in Mahayana schools, such as Asangas Abhidharma Samakya. Abhidharma means the Dharma which is organized logically or a systematic exposition of Buddhist psychology of mind. The Abhidharma was first taught by the Buddha and his immediate disciples. However, later, Abhidharma also includes systematic treatises by enlightened masters. The most well known of the Hinayana Abhidharma treatises is the Abhidharmakosa by the Venerable Vasubandhu. Among the most popular Mahayana Abhidharma treatises is the treatise on consciousness only by Tripitaka Master Shuant Sung. The methods by which wisdom should be developed have been set out in the Abhidharma books. These books are obviously later than the other parts of the canon. Some schools, like the Sotrantikas, insisted that they were not the authentic Buddha word, and should therefore be rejected. The meaning of the word Abhidharma is not quite certain. Abhidharma may mean further dharma, or supreme dharma. It is difficult to know at what time the Abhidharma books were composed. One does not, perhaps, go far wrong when assigning them to the first two centuries after the death of the Buddha. Two recensions of the Abhidharma books have come down to us. A set of seven in Pali and another set of seven, preserved in Chinese, but originally composed in Sanskrit. The Pali texts represent the tradition of the Theravadins, the Sanskrit texts that of the Sarvastivadins. About seven centuries after the original composition of the Abhidharma books, the teachings of both Abhidharma traditions were finally codified, probably between 400 and 450 A.D. This work was carried out for the Theravadins in Ceylon by Buddhaghosa, and for the Sarvastivadins by Vasubandhu in the north of India. After 450 A.D., there has been little, if any, further development in the Abhidharma doctrines. It must be admitted that the style of the Abhidharma books is extremely dry and unattractive. The treatment of the various topics resembles that which one would expect in a treatise on accountancy, or a manual of engineering, or a handbook of physics. Allurements of style are not altogether absent from Buddhist literature when it was destined for propaganda and attempted to win the consent of the unconverted, or to edify the sentiments of the faithful. The Abhidharma books, however, were meant for the very core of the Buddhist elite, and it was assumed that the wisdom acquired from their perusal would be a sufficient reward and incentive of study. In Buddhism, Abhidharma is a basket of the supreme teaching. Higher Dharma or the analytic doctrine of Buddhist canon or basket of the supreme teaching. Abhidharma is the third of the three divisions of the Buddhist canon. The study and investigation of the Buddha Dharma. Abhidharma was translated into Chinese as Great Dharma, or Incomparable Dharma. However, in many later Mahayana works, the term Abhidharma is always referring to Hinayana teachings. As a matter of fact, Abhidharma consists of books of psychological analysis and synthesis. Earliest Compilation of Buddhist Philosophy and Psychology Concerning psychological and spiritual phenomena contained in the discourses of the Buddha and his principal disciples are presented in a systematic order. Abhidharma is higher or special dharma. Abhidharma with the prefix abhi gives the sense of either further or about. Therefore, Abhidharma would mean the higher or special dharma or the discourse of dharma. While the dharma is the general teaching of the Buddha, the Abhidharma is a special is a special metaphysical discourse brought forward by certain elders. Abhidharma is a Sanskrit term meaning high doctrine, referring to the philosophical and scholastic literature contained in the Abhidharma Pitakas of Indian Buddhist schools. The earliest Abhidharma material was composed around 300 B.C. According to the Buddhist legends, Abhidharma was first preached by the Buddha to his mother during a visit to her in the Tasita heaven after her death. According to most Eastern and Western philosophers, this is both a distillation, Sugan Loc, and elaboration, Sung Hain Qky Luang, on the doctrines presented in the Sutra literature. For the discourses reported in the Sutras do not present a consistent philosophical system, 
and so the main aim of the Abhidharma writers was to codify and systematize their doctrines. Abhidharma texts generally rearrange and classify the terms and concepts of the sutras, focusing particularly epistemology, nantukluan, and psychology. Other important themes include cosmology and meditation theory. According to Eric Frau Wallner, earliest scholars brought together concepts from a wide range of texts, but often without a clear pattern of arrangement. Until several centuries a. d. The fully developed Abhidharma consists of voluminous scholastic texts in which doctrines and methods of practices are codified and systematized with great precision and in elaborate detail. As various scholastic traditions developed in Indian Buddhism at that time, different schools created their own Abhidharmas. Nowadays, the only complete Abhidharma that survives in an Indian language is found in the Pali Canon of the Theravada school. But other Indian Abhidharmas exist in Chinese and Tibetan translations, as well as Sanskrit fragments. In addition to the Abhidharmas of the schools of Theravada Buddhism, there were also Abhidharma works in Mahayana schools, such as Asanga's Abhidharma Samakya. Abhidharma is Buddhist metaphysics. Abhidharma contains highly abstract, philosophical elucidations of Buddhist doctrine. The sastras which discuss Buddhist philosophy or metaphysics. Defined by Buddhaghosa as the law or truth. Dharma. Which Abhi goes beyond the law. Abhidharma is the third of the three baskets. This is the third of the three baskets. Tripitaka. Of the Buddhist canon, which contains scholastic treatises that discuss the central doctrines of Buddhism. It comprises the philosophical works. The first compilation is accredited to Mahakajyapa, disciple of Buddha, but the work is of a later period. The primary focus of Abhidharma Pitaka is on philosophy and psychology, usually known or called by the short name Abhidharma. Books of Psychological Analysis and Synthesis Earliest Compilation of Buddhist Philosophy and Psychology Concerning psychological and spiritual phenomena contained in the discourses of the Buddha and his principal disciples are presented in a systematic order. The Chinese version is in three sections. The Mahayana philosophy, the Hinayana philosophy, and the Sung and Yuan Addenda. 960-1368 ad. The Abhidharma also reflects the views of Hinayana. The Abhidharma is the third division of the Buddhist canon of the Theravadan school. Although most of the early Buddhist schools probably developed their own Abhidharmas, only two complete versions are extant today. 1. The Sarvastivada Abhidharma, which exists in Chinese and Tibetan. And 2. The Theravada Abhidharma, which is preserved in Pali. Abhidharma is organized logically. Abhidharma means the Dharma which is organized logically or a systematic exposition of Buddhist psychology of mind. The Abhidharma was first taught by the Buddha and his immediate disciples. However, later, Abhidharma also includes systematic treatises by enlightened masters. The most well known of the Hinayana Abhidharma treatises is the Abhidharmakosa by the Venerable Vasubandhu. Among the most popular Mahayana Abhidharma treatises is the treatise on consciousness only by Tripitaka Master Shuant Sung. Abhidharmas are methods by which wisdom should be developed. The methods by which wisdom should be developed have been set out in the Abhidharma books. These books are obviously later than the other parts of the canon. Some schools, like the Sotrantikas, insisted that they were not the authentic Buddha word, and should therefore be rejected. The meaning of the word Abhidharma is not quite certain. Abhidharma may mean further Dharma, or supreme Dharma. It is difficult to know at what time the Abhidharma books were composed. One does not, perhaps, go far wrong when assigning them to the first two centuries after the death of the Buddha. 2. History of Abhidharma or Wonderful Dharmas Two recensions of the Abhidharma books have come down to us. A set of seven in Pali and another set of seven, preserved in Chinese, but originally composed in Sanskrit. The Pali texts represent the tradition of the Theravadins, the Sanskrit texts that of the Sarvastivadins. About seven centuries after the original composition of the Abhidharma books, 
the teachings of both Abhidharma traditions were finally codified, probably between 400 and 450 a.d. This work was carried out for the Theravadins in Ceylon by Buddhaghosa, and for the Sarvastivadins by Vasubandhu in the north of India. After 450 a.d. There has been little, if any, further development in the Abhidharma doctrines. 3. The Content of Abhidharma It must be admitted that the style of the Abhidharma books is extremely dry and unattractive. The treatment of the various topics resembles that which one would expect in a treatise on accountancy, or a manual of engineering, or a handbook of physics. Allurements of style are not altogether absent from Buddhist literature when it was destined for propaganda and attempted to win the consent of the unconverted, or to edify the sentiments of the faithful. The Abhidharma books, however, were meant for the very core of the Buddhist elite, and it was assumed that the wisdom acquired from their perusal would be a sufficient reward and incentive of study. 4. Explanations of Abhidharma First, Surpassing Law Compendium of Philosophy is one of the chief sastras or commentaries of the Abhidharmakosa school, which is classified into two kinds. Conditioned and non-conditioned. These are all created things, 72 in number and with uncreated things, 3 in number, constitute the five categories and the 75 dharmas. The created or unconditioned. All phenomena which are influenced by the production or birth, duration, or existence, change, and annihilation. Anything which serves to divert beings away from inherent Buddha nature. Outflows are so called because they are turning of energy and attention outward rather than inward. Functioning dharmas are things that are related to something else. All things of our everyday world are functioning dharmas in two ways. Each one is dependent on a multiplicity of other events which surround it, and all of them are linked to suffering and ignorance through the twelve links of the chain of causation. The Buddha concludes with the famous verse in the Vajrakadika Prajnaparamitha Sutra. All phenomena are like a dream, an illusion, a bubble and a shadow, like dew and lightning. Thus should you meditate upon them. Asamskrita Asamskrita is anything that's not subject to cause, condition or dependence. Unconditioned reality, unconditioned or unproduced dharmas mean dharmas which are out of time, eternal, inactive, unchanging, and supramundane. Nirvana and space are considered to be unconditioned dharmas. Asamskrita is the state of rest, or the inactive principle pervading all things. Second, incomparable law. Incomparable truth. Third, comparing the law. The corresponding law, the philosophy in the Buddha's teaching, the Abhidharma. Comparison of cause and effect. Fourth, directional law, showing the cause and effect. 5. The Abhidharma Literature According to Prof. Junjiro Takakosu in The Essentials of Buddhist Philosophy, Abhidharma Literature consists of the following works. First, Abhidharma Jnana Prasthana. Abhidharma Jnana Prasthana Sastra, Katyayaniputra Source of Knowledge. Jnana Prasthana or Book of the Beginning of Knowledge. Or Eight Books. Asthagrantha. Written by Bhiksu Katyayaniputra, an Indian monk, in the 1st century A.D. Other sources said about 300 years after the Buddha passed away. And was translated into Chinese by Xu and Sung around 656 and 659. Second, The Six Legs. Wrote about the Jnana Prasthana. Six Legs in the Commentary on the Source of Knowledge. 1. Prakaranapada or Category Leg, written by Vasumitra. 2. Vijnanakaya or Consciousness Body, written by Devasarman. 3. Dharmaskanda or Element Group, written by Saraputra. 4. Prajanaptipada or World System, written by Madhgalyayana. 5. Dhadakayapada or Mental Element Body, written by Purna. 6. Sanjiti Parayapada or Rehearsal Reading, written by Mahakasthila. Third, Parasva's Great Commentary. Mahavibhasa. 
translated into Chinese with 200 volumes. Fourth, abridged commentary. Vibeza. Translated into Chinese with 14 volumes. In Chinese we have thus two transmissions of the Vibeza, large. 200 parts. And small. 14 parts. Whether one was an abridgment of the other we cannot tell for certain. But from several points of view we can imagine that the larger one belongs to the Kashmir school and the smaller to the Gandhara school. Fifth, Abhidharmahirdaya, written by Dharmatara, translated into Chinese in 391 A. D. The heart of the higher Dharma was written by Dharmamatara, either before or after the Buddhist council of King Kaniska's reign, by Dharmamatara, a noted monk, belonged to the Gandhara branch. It was translated into Chinese in 391 A. D. A commentary on it called Samayukta Abhidharmahirdaya was written by Dermatrata, a pupil of Dermamatara. This work became the fundamental text of the Gandhara branch and subsequently of the Chinese Abhidharma school. Sixth, Samayukta Abhidharmahirdaya, written by Dermatrata, translated into Chinese in 426 A. D. From this time, the Chinese Abhidharma school called Pitian was founded. 7th, Vaisubandhu's Abhidharmakosa. Treasure chamber of of the Abhidharma which reflects the transition from the Hinayana to the Mahayana, composed by Vasubandhu in Kashmir in the 5th century ad. Paramartha's Chinese translation. About 563 to 567 A. D. From this time, the Chinese Kosa school called Chu Shi was founded. Shu and Sung's. Shu and Sung 596 to 664 A. D. Chinese translation. Around 651 to 654 A. D. After this translation, the Kosa school was completed as a philosophical system chiefly by Kuei Chi. 632 to 682 A. D. A pupil of Shu and Sung. 6. Other Sastras of Abhidharma. 1. Abhidhamadharma Sangani or Book of the Elements of Existence. 2. Abhidharma Dharma Skandapada, composed by Mahamad Galyayana. 3. Abhidhamadhukatha or Book of the Origin of Things. 4. Abhidhamadhukayapadasastra or Book of Elements. 5. Abhidhamakathavathu or Book of Controversies. 6. Abhidharmakosa Samayapurta Pika Sastra. 7. Abhidharma Mahabhibhasa Sastra or Apita Mota Pipo Shalun. Parasva's Great Commentary. Mahabhibhasa. Translated into Chinese with 200 volumes. An abbreviation of the title of the Abhidharma Mahabhibhasa Sastra. A philosophical treatise by Katyayaniputra. Translated into Chinese by Sang Habhudi around 383 A. D. According to Prof. Junjiro Takakosu in The Essentials of Buddhist Philosophy, probably in the 2nd century A. D. Whether before or after the Buddhist Council of King Kaniska's reign, we cannot tell, a great and minute commentary named Vibhasa Sastra was compiled on Katyayaniputra's work. The word Vibhasa means an extreme annotation or various opinions. And this title indicates that many opinions of the time were gathered and criticized in detail and that some optional ones were selected and recorded. The main object of the Vibhasa commentary was to transmit the correct exposition of the Abhidharma school which has since then come to be called the Vibhasaka school. 8. Abhidharmanyanyanusara Sastra. 9. Abhidharma Prajanaptipada Sastra or Book of Descriptions. 10. Abhidharma Prakaranapada or Book of Literature. 11. Abhidharma Pagalapanadi or Book of Person. 12. Abhidharma Samjitai Sastra, composed by Saraputra. 13. Abhidharma Samakya. Abhidharma Samakya is a Sanskrit term for compendium of higher doctrine. This is an important Sanskrit scholastic treatise written by Asanga, 
which attempts to construct a Mahayana Abhidharma. It focuses particularly on the characteristics of dharmas, the basic constituents of reality, at the same time also emphasizing their emptiness. Sunyata Of inherent existence Svabhava 14. Abhidhamasangaha or collection of the significations of Abhidharma 15. Abhidharmasanjiti Parayayapadasastra or Book of Recitations 16. Abhidhamaskandapadasastra or Book of Things 17. Abhidhamatha Sangaha Composed by Anuruddha, a native of Ceylon, in about 1100 AD, introduced an overview of Abhidhama. 18. Abhidhamavibhanga or Book of Classifications 19. Abhidharma Vibhasa Sastra or Apita Motapai Poshalun. Explain the Abhidharma Jnana Prasthana of Bhikkhu Katyayanitra. A commentary on the Fachi Lun. And was translated into Chinese by Xu and Sung between 656 and 659. It is believed that this treatise was probably composed in Kashmir around the 1st century A. D. It is a philosophical treatise of the Kashmir Sarvastivada school which argues against the theories of various other schools at the time. 20. Abhidharma Vijnanakayapadasastra. Book of Knowledge, composed by an Indian bhikkhu named Devasarman, which denied the ego. 21. Abhidhamma Yamaka or Book of Peers. 6. Abhidharmakosa Sastra. Abhidharmakosa Sastra treasure chamber of of the Abhidharma which reflects the transition from the Hinayana to the Mahayana, composed by Vasubandhu in Kashmir in the 5th century ad. Abhidharmakosa School of Vasubandhu. Name of the school is an abbreviation of Abhidharmakosa, which is the title of Vasubandhu's work on realism and may be translated the story of the higher Dharma. The great philosopher Vasubandhu was born in Purasapura. Peshawar in Gandhara and received his ordination in the Sarvastivada school. He went to Kashmir incognito to learn the Abhidharma philosophy. On his return home he wrote the Abhidharmakosa Sastra which is preserved in 60 volumes of Chinese translation.